Elden Ring is one of my most favorite video games of all time, and Landell in particular is one of the most breathtaking locales I've ever seen in a video game. But it's also the source of a lot of pain, a major inconvenience I have noticed in this game that needs to be addressed, because for some reason no one else is talking about it. When you progress enough into the game, in order to reach Crumbling from Azula, you need to go to the Forge of the Giants and set the tree on fire. Now, that on its own is fine, but it's when you beat Malaketh that the problem starts. Leyendel gets destroyed and becomes a capital of Ash. The problem with this is that it completely ruins multiplayer summoning. Really, the only place that works is the capital rampart. And even then, you have to put it a little bit in the building because it counts as a separate area, but that's not the big deal. The big... sorry. The big deal is that... you can tell this video is unscripted, I'm just trying to record this. In order to help somebody, like a friend, with the old version of Leyendel, you have to go all the way back here and run all the way through to the bosses. And that is simply extremely inconvenient, because none of the inner capital graces work when the capital is on fire. Heck, even the Divine Bridge doesn't work, because you have to go get that at the teleporter. So the issue being, one, the multiplayer summons not being able to work, so it effectively means if I want to help somebody with this version of Leyendel, the one I have to start a completely new game. And that's undesirable, because if I spend enough time on one playthrough, and I feel comfortable staying on the playthrough... Pardon, that was a uh, call notification. Then... I have to get rid of all of my graces. This is a really big game, and it takes a long time to fill out all of these graces. So starting a new game is a monumentally large task. It means losing all the graces, losing what contentness, if that makes sense, I have the world, and completely starting from scratch. Now, I'm okay with rushing through new games to increase the difficulty and the rune payout, that's what I did, but the problem is I shouldn't have to reset my entire game just to go back to the old Leyendel. There needs to be a system in play, like an item, or something you can interact with, or what have you, that can take you back to the old Leyendel. And it's not just multiplayer summoning that's the problem, it's also visually annoying. Which, yes, is not really a mechanical issue, because the rest of the world outside of Landell works just fine, but the thing is, I don't always want the Erd Tree to be on fire. I don't want embers constantly flying in my face everywhere I go. It's distracting, and it really detracts from the beauty of the world. I can't focus on what I'm doing because there's constantly these embers lingering everywhere. I simply don't want to commit to completing the game because that ruins my save. At least from my perspective. The way I like playing these games, I like establishing a character that's at a really high level, get a bunch of equipment, and then I just camp out. I help other people with bosses in the game, opening up summoning pools, and just having a chill good time. Maybe do some invasions, but not necessarily starting a new game. Burning Leyendel, and thus the tree itself, ruins this gaming philosophy I have. And... It's not really just a personal problem, because a lot of people I've seen have this issue. I've seen it in Reddit posts, my friends agree on the issue, and it's something we just don't like. It is a blemish on what is otherwise an absolutely amazing game. And it is still an amazing game, but this one part really irks us. Because it feels like we're being punished for beating the game. In other words, I'm not going to feel inclined to defeat Malaketh at From Azula, unless I am absolutely certain I want to go through with completing the game and starting a new journey. There just needs to be a way to time travel to the undestroyed Leyendel. That is the crux of this video. I am a tiny YouTuber, and ultimately, because I'm so tiny, it's unlikely I will make any sort of impact. I had an old channel that was at least significantly bigger, over a thousand subscribers, but even then, I don't know how much I can do to raise awareness. Somebody had to talk about this problem, and, well, it looks like it was me. So, while I sincerely doubt this video is going to make a difference, I really do not think the devs are going to see this video, 
And even if they do, it is also unlikely they would do anything to address this. Because it's not like the game's broken. Nothing here is inherently broken. The game is working as intended. But this one part of the game annoys me. Because if I want to keep an established world with all these graces and not lose everything, I basically have to stop at Malaketh. I cannot go any further. And even then, the awkwardness of just entering from, from Azula in the first place is annoying because I have to set the tree partially on fire, like the leaves burning, which I have not done. Now, granted, that's not a big deal because everything mechanically works, Landell's still intact, but it's just awkward having a half-on-fire tree, let alone burning the whole thing down and ruining the map. So, please, if anyone is watching this, share this video, spread the word, and just raise more awareness of this problem with me because it's a blemish on what is otherwise a very great game and it makes it inconvenient to play thank you for watching peace out